What's up Nightwalkers? Today I'll be going over the Optics One eCody. Before I get going in the video, I need to make it clear that I work for TMVC and that this eCody belongs to TMVC. Uh, this is not my own personally owned and possessed eCody. Uh, I'm basically borrowing this thing to check it out and see how it works. And while I have it, I'm gonna make this video for you guys. Now with that out of the way, let me tell you that I've been using this thing for the last week. Every night, I've been using this as much as I possibly can because it's because uh, it's so freaking badass, and uh, and this thing's absolutely stellar. You know, in my previous videos, uh, you can check them out. You know, I did a, a FLIR breach and a PVS14 type of a deal for a semi-fused uh, thermal and night vision combination. And what I could say for sure, and it's you know, it shouldn't be uh, a big surprise to anybody, but obviously. Uh, this is a proper clip-on uh, thermal device to go with night vision. And so this is going to give you true uh, fusion capability compared to something like, uh, you know, the FLIR breach in combination with the PVS-14. And so with the eCody, uh, the previous version of this thing, if you're not familiar, you know, I don't, don't want to go into a big history lesson here. Uh, but the main difference is, is that the previous version, uh, known as the Cody, you know, the AN uh, Pass 29 Alpha, uh, was a, uh, a clip-on thermal imager similar to this, you know, in, in form and function. Um, however, it had a, a thermal sensor that was a 320 by 240, and it was 30 hertz. You know, compared to the eCody, which is the enhanced, you know, clip-on thermal imager, you know, Cody, C-O-T-I. And this is a 640 by 480, 60 hertz, uh, you know, thermal sensor. And so obviously, you know, this is going to give you a superior image compared to the 320. Uh, the other key difference is that the Cody, um, the previous version that, to this one, uh, it only gave you a 20 degree uh, field of view, whereas the eCody gives you a 30 degree field of view. And so the reason that's a big deal, and I'll show you in the videos um, when we get to that part, but you know, on the back of a PVS-14, you know, this is only a 40 degree view. Now the way it mounts is with uh, this adapter ring here. And so this interface, you know, it basically goes over the, uh, the objective lock collar here on your device. And then you have the ability to adjust uh, how much tension that you want, and you can adjust it based on the size of your, uh, your lock ring. And the way it works is you simply just slide it in here, lock it in, and then if you need to take it out, uh, it's got this paddle release here that you press, and then it slides right, right back out of it. Now, one thing to note is with the PVS-14, you know, you have limited um, ability for how you can orientate, uh, you know, this, this ring interface here. So uh, you're just limited because you have the battery compartment, you know, knob, or not knob, but cap, and then you got other stuff in the way. Whereas with something like a binocular device, you know, like this DTNVS or other goggles, you know, you have much more real estate for where you can mount it. So you can rotate it and put it in different positions. And uh, whatever, whichever position you get it in, you have the ability in the menu to basically rotate the view. So that way, uh, when you do access the menu, all the text and stuff is gonna be, you know, to where you could read it. It's not gonna be upside down or sideways or something like that. Uh, depending on how you mount it, sometimes it might be slightly off, but it's good enough to where you can, you can read what you need to and make your selections. I've tried the eCody on a single PVS-14 as a monocular. I've done it on duals as well. You know, these DTNVSs, uh, dual PVS-14s uh, mounted on, on another goggle. You know, and I can tell you that, in my opinion, it's, it's more effective on a dual tube system. Um, you could definitely use it on a single 14. However, the thermal image, um, especially if it's busy, like if you're using outline, um, it really takes up, you know, quite a, quite a bit of your night vision image. And so sometimes it's a little bit busy. The controls of the eCody are pretty easy. So you've got uh, one button on this side, and then you got two on this side. You know, these can be kind of a pain in the butt uh, to find sometimes. Uh, however, once you start using it, you know, you really get a good feel for where these are at. And then it really is pretty intuitive, you know, once you start actually using it. I don't have any eCody accessories here to show you, but basically you've got a, a battery pack cable and battery pack uh, for it. It's pretty expensive. And then you have a, a viewfinder or a, like an eyepiece adapter here that clips in here and allows you to look through the eyepiece not the eyepiece, but the display, so you could use it without having it on a night vision device. Now, you know, because of how this thing works with night vision, uh, it's a pretty small, you know, window or screen, and so it's pretty difficult to see. Um, I'll clip it here and see if uh, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, let me get it lined up. It's really hard to line up on the camera. But anyways, it's really small. So um, yeah, good luck trying to trying to look through it. You know, the uh, the eye cup adapter is going to do a better job than just doing that. But really, if you're buying this thing, uh, buy it to clip it onto your, your night vision device and use it that way. Okay, at about the 11 o'clock position, you can see what the compass looks like.
Okay, here's a comparison so you can see what everything looks like side by side. In my opinion, patrol mode is the most effective one out of all three thermal modes. Uh, outline's pretty cool, but as you can see, sometimes it, it can be a bit busy in terms of how much thermal uh, signature that you see inside the image. This clip does a really good job of showing how much more uh, detection capability that the eCody gives to you. As you can see from the video, uh, this thing is an absolutely awesome add-on accessory for your night vision device. Uh, it does exactly what it's supposed to do, which is overlay a thermal image directly on top of your night vision image. Uh, and that's just incredibly useful because in certain conditions, you know, even the best night vision tubes out there, they're gonna struggle if there's not enough light, you know, from heavy cloud cover, uh, no moon, stuff like that. And something like the eCody is certainly going to make up for that lack of performance. Uh, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.